Oh, I wanted to put together another video for you just uh, showing some of the additional work we're doing with online and offline editing. Just to give some background for those that haven't seen these videos, we've uh, been approached by a number of clients asking about building applications which are similar to the mobile offline online um, collector for ArcGIS application but to provide more flexibility. So we've been building out a framework which provides the ability to do branding, to add functionality and to create specific workflows for how you work rather than how it's perceived you would work. So that's this application I'm showing you here. Um, very briefly we've loaded a base map. Um, this is point data which is coming from ArcGIS server. It could just as well be coming from ArcGIS online. We can actually take the, the application offline so we can go to tools, we can go offline and you'll see the red indicator here we're now offline so let's just zoom back and we'll show you that uh, we've no, we're no longer pulling those tiles back from ArcGIS uh, or across the internet so we've just got that point data we can load an, uh, an offline base map which we've got here um, and there's that base map so this is local to the device this, this would be on an iPad, this would be on an Android tablet or phone so we would uh, have this on, on the device or on a PC as we've got here so we can go ahead and edit this data, we can add delete um, and, and edit. Now editing itself is often a function of just clicking on a point and this is how we traditionally do it in a, a map centric approach with online and offline editing and we can just edit the uh, attributes fields here and when we go back online that will be pushed up to that particular layer. But there's another way we can do this, again, in offline and online mode, we can actually start with a form-centric approach. So this is a map-centric approach where we start with a map, we click on the point and we see the attributes and edit from there or we drop a point on the map. But we could also start with a form. So what we've done here is we've actually taken this point data and we've created a geoform with it. So we've actually, and I'll just show that to you right now, so let's just show you the integration point here. So we're going to open a geoform. So this geoform is actually going to show that point data, which you can see on the right hand side here. So it's the same data, um, same base map. <coughs> these, are the, these are the points we were just viewing. But what we can do from this is we can actually fill out the attributes of a particular new point in this case. So if we wanted to drop a point here, we would find my location. That's where, that's using the GPS on the device. And this is where that point data would be dropped. So if we filled out the fields here um, and we, we push this up to the, the point endpoint, be it server or online, by clicking submit new entry, that data would be directly pushed up to that feature service. So we've taken a slightly different approach here. We've got the map centric approach which I showed you to start with, which starts with a map, but we've integrated into this a form centric approach where we actually take a form and we fill out the data in a form and have that as, a, as point data individually pushed up to ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Server. Again, these both work in online and offline modes. Thanks for watching.